We have a, had had an investment in Bocom for 20 years. Every quarter we have to do a valuation in use test. We did that again this quarter, updated the model, and it compares the yeah. value in use to the carrying value, and no. the value in use dropped below, and that resulted in a three billion charger. I just want to make clear that has no impact on our capital position of any significance. Mm -hmm. It does not prohibit distribution because it's non-capital impactful. It is a technical accounting issue. And I also want to reiterate, we have strong confidence in the China economy. We believe there are right. huge opportunities ahead. And we believe that our partnership with BOCOM has been a good partnership for 20 years, and that status has not changed. Are you also close to identifying any potential new bolt-on acquisitions? We keep looking at bolt-ons, and we've done quite a few. I was really pleased that we were, um, we've announced the acquisition of Citibank's wealth business in China. That follows um, two other investments we put into China recently, taken our shareholding in our insurance joint venture from 50% to 100%, and the securities joint venture from 50% to 90%. So you can see our confidence in China is still strong, and we're investing, and we've done three bolt-ons there. We'll continue to look for bolt-ons, particularly in our wealth management uh, business. Um, we believe buying additional product capability, specialism, or distribution capability uh, would be interesting, but we'll only um, announce anything on that where, as and when we got a transaction to, to complete. Have you identified anything at the moment, and in which part of the world? We're all we're always looking. Uh, the, the world is more, it's more around our wealth business, uh, and we're trying to re really build out our international wealth and international retail banking proposition. And wherever we see opportunity to enhance that and accelerate the organic growth plan, we'll consider those bolt-ons. But nothing's in, 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 in the near-term pipeline at the moment. Are, are you still confident, Noel, that actually the Chinese property market has bottomed out? Yes, I am, Francine. I, I think uh, when I signaled it at Q3, I think I believe the market as a whole has hit the bottom. I did say back then it still will take time for it to recover, and I believe it will recover in a gradual and progressive basis, not with one big bang stimulus package. But I have been pleased to see some of the stimulus that has gone into the Chinese economy in recent months. But that's more around stimulating the demand side of the economy rather than stimulating the supply side. And I think that's the right thing to do, because then you'll get a more enduring and sustainable recovery in the sector. It does mean that there will still be some developers that have got to work through their challenges, but I do believe the bottom has been reached.